Hi everyone! In the video about exploratory data analysis I said that plotting is one of the most important skills in data science so I'm going to devote a couple of videos to cover more plotting. So in this video I'm going to extend a little bit the air-based plotting syntax and I'm going to introduce a very in important thing which is the formula syntax that we're going to use in regression later. Uh, I'll also do some plotting with the lattice library so if you want to play with that you have to install that, so play, stop the video and type this, install packages, lattice and we're on. Let's play again with the, the election data frame. So remember, I have removed the random column. So remember we have three factors, the state abbreviation, party and sex. And this numerical column, which is votes, okay? I'm going to create a new column, I'm going to call L votes. To simplify a bit, which is the log 10, oh sorry, of the number of votes. Okay, so remember we can plot a random vector like this, and we obtain this kind of scatter plot. And let me introduce the formula syntax. So formula syntax uses this curly line. So whenever you see this, that means y is an output and x is the input okay so in, in our case if we plot again df l votes but now we use this formula syntax and and we play that against let's say party instead of plotting what we have seen before instead of plotting this scatter plot we have this box plot and a box plot I, I don't know if you're familiar with it you have tons of tutorials in youtube about that but basically it tells you what is the median which is the 25 and 75 per percentile interval these two mm, lines here are more or less i think it's one 1 1.7 times the interquantile interval and those are outliers okay so in this case you can see that the democrat vote is more dispersed but you have more more outliers in the republican vote okay and as you can see plot is really smart because it knows that now you have a formula here so this is one way to to improve the quality of your of your plotting let's do this again sex okay and as you can see what you have more or less the same if we do this against uh, let me remember state abbreviation then we have 48 box plots as you can see here and you cannot see anything but but again you can try to use this tool whenever you have categorical variables and you want to plot the numerical values against that let's try the, la the lattice library so let's import it library lattice and again you have tons of functions here you can go to help and you type here lattice and you're going to see all information about the library and some of the functions so you can click here and there and see the whole information I'm going to use a function which is called histogram which is kind of hist but again the difference is that first you have to use this formula syntax in this case I'm this means that I'm going to plot anything against value sorry L votes and the name of the data frame is going to be df so if we plot this this is pretty similar to the histogram remember hist df dot l votes okay so as you can see here you have the same histogram what is more interesting now is that if you go back to histogram and then you introduce this pipeline okay and then you say i'm going to plot the histogram against let's say uh, a party okay and then th I love la the lattice library because it creates histogram split it by, in this case, by this categorical value, which is Democrat and Republican. Actually, we can use party plus, oh, sorry, party plus sex. And then you obtain two values for party, two values for sex, total four panels. And as you can see here, male Democrat has this histogram, male Republican this histogram, and so on and so forth. So I love this this library because in a, in a very sim single command you can grasp a lot of information about your data set of course things are not so simple if your categorical vari variable is more complex for instance if you plot here well, let, let me remember the name state abbreviation state abbreviation 
then the histogram is messy because you have 48 panels but but in the end i think it's pretty interesting that you can check that okay so play play a little bit with the lattice another thing that you can do if you have a couple of uh, numerical uh, values in your data set you can also use the lattice library let me show you how so let's do a couple of advanced things i'm going to create a new variable i'm going to call it i don't know mm, whatever set and this is going to be a normal random distribution Th this means random number from a normal distribution and i'm going to you take the length the number of rows sorry of my data frame and plot this set oh sorry not very interesting as you can see we can plot a histogram of course this is a random variable and we actually we can bind we can create a new column in our data frame so df set equals set and now if you go to str our data frame we have six columns and the last one is this one now i'm going to use a function which is called xy plot and i'm going to use l votes x sorry versus x and the data frame is going to be df sorry set and as you can see we have a beautiful scatter plot and the good thing again is that you can repeat this and now say that you can split this by sex and again you obtain two panels and sex plus party and you have a scatter plot for the logarithm of the number of votes with respect to set and we have four panels republican female republican male democrat female democrat male so as you can see the lattice library is pretty useful to make this exploratory analysis phase and that's all for today